Hello, welcome to my chat leaderboard widget. This is a system that I designed to help you increase your chat engagement. Whenever one of your chat members sends a chat message, they can get XP. And whenever they get a lot of XP, they can level up and whoever has the highest level shows up on this leaderboard. Now, important thing to note, this is a per stream leaderboard. This leaderboard will reset every stream that you do so that new people still have a chance to make it on the leaderboard. All right, so let's go over the different features of this widget. First thing we have is the toggle preview button. You click it and you can see like whenever you make any changes to the widget, you can quickly click this toggle preview button to see what changed. Okay, so for basic, we have the number of ranks on the leaderboard. We can change that to something like three, preview that, change that to like six, preview that. You can change that to whatever number of ranks that you want to show up on your leaderboard. Okay, so next we have the delete rank command. This is a command that's only usable by you or your mods because it removes people off the leaderboard. This I built for the specific case that you ban someone, but they might be on your leaderboard, so you just want to remove them completely. And you can use it like so. You do delete rank and then one of the users on the leaderboard and bam, they're gone. Okay, so next let's go over the leveling system. So as you can see here, we have minimum and maximum XP per message. By default, every message just gets one XP and that's it. But if you raise this to something like 10, that means that every message will have a random number between 1 to 10 XP that they can get. Okay, so next we have ways of limiting spam for XP so that people aren't just spamming the chat box just to gain XP. So we have max messages per minute. So let's set this to something like three. This means that a user can only gain XP for three messages per minute. So as an example, I type in test, test, test. So I gained XP for those three messages. I type test again, I'm getting nothing. I keep doing it, nothing happens because I have to wait an entire minute before I can gain XP again. Next, we have the message character minimum for XP. This is another way to combat spam for XP. So if we set this to something like 10, then when I start typing in test, Nothing happens. I'm not getting any XP because I haven't reached the character limit. So if I do a long message like this, now I'm getting XP, but not for short messages. Only the long messages that have over 10 characters. And if you put in emotes, each emote counts as one character. So even though this looks like it has 11 characters, it's only going to count as three characters, which is each emote and the space between. Okay, next is these two values, which is better explained via this spreadsheet. You can pause just to take a look at this, but I'll explain it. So amount of XP to go from level one to two. So this is just the initial XP, right? And then the XP increase per level. So here is 10 more XP for each level. Same thing here. Here it's going to take two more XP per level and here it's zero, so it's always going to take 10 XP to level up. Um, just kind of mess with this and see what works best for your stream. For me, five and two works well for me, but it's going to be different for different streamers. And lastly, in the leveling settings, we handle different bot things. So ignoring bot commands by default, that is on. It will ignore any message that starts with an exclamation mark. No XP will be gained for that. You can turn that off if you'd like. And then we also have an ignore list. So this is a great place to put your bots into so that your bots don't show up on the leaderboard. Okay, next we have the theme system. So what you can do is you can export whatever theme that you've created and it'll have all the data here. You can just double click and copy it, give it to someone, share that to someone, and then they can paste that directly into here or you can go over to this site which I will have linked in the description down below 
with a bunch of themes that I have made that you can all use. So if I wanted the ice cream theme, for example, we click this, we copy all of this, and we can import it into here, click import theme. And once it says import successful, there we go. We click toggle preview and there we go. Now we have the ice cream theme. How do you make a theme? Well, that's where all of these style settings come into play. Let's dive into each of them one by one. So starting off with the layouts. So this changes where all the elements are placed for each rank. So if we go to like layout nine, it'll look like this. If we go to layout one or two, it'll look like this. We go to layout five, it looks like this. So you can see that this theme in particular is set up to work well with either layout five or six. Next, we have the level prefix. So this just changes what you see before the level number. So we can choose to have this be like the full word level. Or we can even delete it entirely if we only want the numbers there. OK, next we have the XP box minimum height. So this matters for specific layouts, such as layout one. If we look at this and click toggle preview, you can see that the XP box is like really squished down. So if we set this to like a healthy like 20 pixels, looks much better. All right, next we have all these emote settings, which I haven't even explained that feature yet. So let's look at it in action. All right, test here. Now I'm on the leaderboard, and if I use my scream emote, you can see that this little ice cream that was there now changes to whichever emote I used last. So this is a nice little way of having a little profile image per user. So you can like mess with how this works. You can choose to not display anything if you don't want to have that feature. It's optional. Um, you can also change the default image that is shown before anyone has actually used an emo in chat. Now, alternatively, if you do want to have images there, but you don't want it to be tied to the emote system, you can use this option here. Right. So now nothing's displayed there, but there is now a space for that emote. For this, you have to go into the CSS, custom CSS, and scroll all the way down here. And you can pretty much copy this, paste this, and for each rank, like one will be first, two second, and so on and so forth, you can put in a custom image for there. So for example, you could just have that all be the same image, or you can be like, first place, second place, third place with like, I don't know, gold, silver, bronze medals if you want. Right now, I'm pretty sure this will just put little watermelon emojis. Yeah. So you can you can mess around with that if you want to have the custom CSS for that instead of having the emote system. All right. So next we're going to go over each one of these styles. I'll be changing the color to blue for each of them to make it easier to see which one does what. OK, so first we have the styles for the widget box itself. So as you can see, it's everything in the widget box will be affected by this. It's basically just like the entire outside layer. So you can customize that however you want. OK, so next we have the rank box style. So as you can see, each of the rank boxes are these colored in blue. So that affects all the stylings for the outside box of each rank. OK, next we have the emote box style. So if you want to have a box around the emote, you can choose to do that with this. After that, we have just the emote style itself. Very simple. It's just the size of the emote and then a shadow if you want that. Then we have the username box style, which is just a box that goes around the username. If you'd like to have that, then we have the style of the username text itself. So you can customize the color, the font, font size, thickness, and then also a text shadow for that. Then we have the box for the level. 
So you can you can have a box around that if you'd like. Then we have the style of the level text itself. Same options as the username text. Then we get to the XP box, which is just the box that goes around the XP bar, as you can see. And then finally, we have the styling for the XP bar itself. All right, so the last thing, it's an optional thing, but we have advanced settings. It's advanced because it requires a bit of extra setup in order to work, but it's all for this rank command. So what this does is anyone in chat can use exclamation mark rank in order to check their rank, even if not on the leaderboard, the stream elements bot will respond with that person's rank, their level, and their XP amount. And then there's also a cooldown for that so that they can only do it every 60 seconds in this case. So let's go over how to set it up. Okay, so first thing we want to do is enable the advanced settings. You will see immediately that we have an error because we have not yet put in a correct API token. What this does, we just need it so that this widget can connect to the stream elements bot so that it can send messages through the bot. So in order to do this, we have to go to jabated.net. So you'll see a screen that looks like this. You want to sign in with stream elements and you want to authorize this so that it can now talk to the bot. You want to go to API tokens here and let's put a description for the token. Let's call it chat leaderboard for instance. The scope, we want the bot message scope specifically. Don't need any of the rest. And we want to click add token. Wait for it to refresh, then scroll down, grab our token with the chat leaderboard description and the bot message scope. And we go back into here, we put it in, and now we don't have an error message anymore. So that's great. That means we're good and we can use the command. All right, let's test it out. Let's put this to zero for now, just to test it, All right? So if we go into our chat, write a message. Now we are on the leaderboard. We do exclamation mark rank. And now we can see that we are rank one at level one with 10 XP. Now, if we do this with the test data, right? And now I try to get on, I'm not on the leaderboard yet, but I can still check my rank. Now I can see that I'm rank six at level one with 10 XP. So that's a nice little way for people to be able to check their rank, even if they're not on the leaderboard. All right, so that's the chat leaderboard widget. I'll have links down in the description for everything that I talked about that has other links. And I really hope you enjoy it. I think it's a fantastic way to just reward chat engagement. I love it for my chat and I hope you will too. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.